everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and we're back today doing something a little bit different but this is a really awesome video and it's a topic that I really want to talk to you guys about. Uh, so just quickly before we get into the video I want to stress that this is not my uh, creation. This is created by another really talented user on the internet i will link the um the page in the description below so you can check it out all for yourself and also um the creator has made an i petitions um site on on the internet as well because this is a concept dlc and um we're trying to get it into grand theft auto online as the next dlc so if it's something that you find interesting, something you want to see in GTA, then make sure you go and sign the petition and also check out the page for yourself. Um, like I said, I'll link both the I petition and the page down in the description below. And I just want to say again, it is not my creation. I am simply reviewing the DLC to try and get some more um, publicity for the creator. So let's go ahead and have a look at the um, the page. So uh, a user on Instagram sent me a link to this page, and they were the ones that told me about the um, about the concept. And you can see here his name is Lucifer Reap. I will also link his Instagram in the description if you want to go and check him out. Um, but he's the creator, I think, of this. Um, of this concept or, or he's he's sort of a co-founder of the concept and um, yeah so basically um, we've had part one of the casino which was obviously the diamond casino and resort DLC and we had the storyline that went with that the uh, we got to basically take out the Duggans and then in the end the Duggan uh, the the nephew I think it was took over the Diamond Casino. Um, then there was a weird little bit at the end where Vince got fired, so that was sort of left unexplained. So yeah, something a bit interesting. Then we got part two of the casino, which was the Diamond Casino Heist DLC, which is our latest DLC when I'm making this video. And we still didn't really hear what happened to Vince, so this. DLC is basically part three sort of to the casino so as you can see here it says uh, Slick City is a GTA on GTA 5 online DLC concept that takes place a while after the Diamond Casino and Resort um, a while after it started having money problems due to the frequent heists which is obviously us and robberies uh, to take place shortly after our characters set these changes into motion. Um, so that's like a little introduction to it. You can see um, this person has made their own sort of artwork, which I think looks really cool. I believe this is one of GTA Wise Guys um, cars down here. And this is one of the Vanilla Works cars. This I think this is the drag. Um, I can't remember what this uh, I think this uh, pickup is called and then it says the concept will include changes to the map new vehicles new clothing new upgrades I think this is new collectibles because we sort of already have some collectibles in the game and new emotes which I think that's like new actions which the last time we got new actions was in the nightclub DLC and we got some new dance moves so it would actually be quite cool um, sort of for role play and also for making cinematics some more sort of emotes so that would be really cool and then we got an introduction it says as the diamond casino slowly fails in business due to its premium insurance rates the people of San Andreas slowly looks for a better form of entertainment all eyes slowly drift to a new development out in Grapeseed. A new, a new company recently purchased a huge section of land and has been excavating and laying large strips of asphalt and cement. Sounds really cool. 
So the location, so if you don't know where Grapeseed is, it's basically this sort of area here. But nothing really happens in Grapeseed. There's not really any missions here. There's no businesses really. Um, so this would be actually a perfect location for this DLC to take place in Grapeseed. I don't really think anyone is too fussed about this area of the map, I'm going to be honest. Um, if this area of the map changes, which I'll show you some photos in a minute of what it will look like, or what it could look like, um, I think the addition to the game is a lot better than what you see here. But it says, uh, the development started taking place near the old Grapeseed Airport. So this is the runway, and it's not really an airport, it's just an airstrip, but yeah. Uh, so besides the airport, there are two fields that an old farmer used to own after an accident. The fields were then uh, bought to be excavated for the new building and strip. So that sort of um, highlights what's happening. It says the development stage. So over the course, over the course of a few weeks, Grapeseed will undergo a series of dramatic changes. First, there is an increase in construction equipment scattered around the fields, ranging from excavators to bulldozers. As the days go past, slowly a track will start to form, stretching across the two fields. Slowly, the strands, concrete barriers are slowly transported in line to the track. Meanwhile, the construction of the garages and main building start. So this is sort of what it will begin to look like. So the point that he's trying to make here, in case it wasn't clear, is um, as we saw with the Diamond Casino uh, DLC, before that DLC came out, um, Rockstar put some sort of construction uh, outside the old casino and every week they would add more props and make it look more like the casino was changing. So in the beginning there was like a portal and like a digger and that was about it and by the end there was like a full blown construction site going on. So I guess that's because this would be a massive change to the map I'm guessing that's what he's, he's getting at here. Um that they would slowly over time build it up. And I think people really liked it when Rockstar did that. So if they were going to add this DLC, I definitely think they would do that. Uh, then it says, the ownable property. And you can see a picture of it here. There's the garages. After the completion of the drag strip, it started getting... It started getting floods of spectators in search of a new form of entertainment. The drag strip then put a workshop up for sale in hopes of getting new drivers to help entertain their crowd. So basically there'd be a storyline I'm guessing with this where you would purchase a garage on the strip and like with the Arena War DLC they'll invent a new uh, NPC character to walk you through it. Um, that's sort of how it always works with the business. You always have someone that will walk you through it. And yeah, that's explained here. So after purchasing your new drag workshop, you'll be given a walk around of the premise, showing off everything the drag strip has to offer, ranging from your own personal gar garages. Sorry, my reading is terrible. As well as the main conjointing building where display vehicles are shown and tickets are sold along with the sign-up booth. More on this later, so we'll get to that in a minute. And we've got some more information on the workshop. The workshop comes with multiple default options ranging from the initial workshop to a small gar garage space. But for, money, for additional money, you will be able to get the following modifications. Style. The style upgrade will affect the walling and flooring, helping to create a more immersive workshop depending on what time period you'd like your workshop. So that's sort of like all the businesses we have in GTA, um, you can sort of make it a bit more personal to you with like murals and, and you know, a wallpaper and whatever. So if they were going to add this DLC, they would do something like that. But I really like the sound of... Um, um, 
it will make it more immersive depending on what time period you like your workshop. So that sounds really cool. So you could pick like an 80s style and make your garage look like 80s. This next bit is really cool. Uh, the dyno is a purchasable upgrade that when used will tell your vehicle's top speed not to 60 and not to 100. So this would actually be really cool because um, you can find out your vehicle's top speed which currently there's not really a very good way to do that in GTA. You can find out not to 60 which is not really that important in GTA but it would be something really cool. But I just love listening to cars on a dyno. It sounds really weird but... Um, when you get in your car dynoed, it sounds really cool, and I'd love to be able to do that in GTA. And we've got extra garage space. As well. Extra garage space. I think that's supposed to say garage, not garbage. Um, uh, for some extra cash, the Strip is offering an inclusive garage space that can hold up to 12 cars. And we get a look at the garage space, and I have to say... I really hope Rockstar adds this garage because it can only hold 12 cars, which is actually not that many cars, but this looks absolutely incredible. I think if Rockstar added this, they'd probably allow you to have a, bit, a few more cars in here. Um, well, at least I'd hope they would. Um, but other than that, this looks absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm amazed how good this looks, actually. Um, yeah, and obviously because it's a new business we get living quarters so it says your small personalised quarters that you can get with your different variants within the quarters there is also a trophy wall and a, lot, a laptop to browse your, to, sorry, and a laptop to browse your track stats and other dragster builds. So we'll get to that in a, in a minute. And it says the ticket and main building. The ticket main building is connected to the drag workshop. This building contains a ticket booth for setting up races. More on this later. Uh, within the main building there is also a VIP booth. Similar to one found within the arena. So this is I guess where you can watch people. Um, sort of like you can in the arena where you can go into the like viewing box. And you can watch uh, arena battles going on. So you'd be able to watch um, drag races going on. There's, there's also a display podium that has a fully modified drag car with racing slicks and a blower sitting in the center of the room. So that's sort of like the uh, um, casino podium vehicle, I guess. Um, so I don't know if this would just be a display or whether this is something you could win, like the lucky wheel. I think it's more of just a display, but that sounds really cool, actually. And then it gets on to, obviously, the racing, which is the main part. Um, it says, the public racing is divided into, into classes based on the car you plan to race. You can go as small wheel, big wheel, nitrous oxide, dragster, funny car, and special. So they're the different classes. Uh, that will include any vehicle with a rocket as well as collectible vehicles. So you can see with this this is a really big DLC and I might sound really excited for this. <laughs> I really hope Rockstar had this. This sounds incredible. Um so then we get on to classes, so how this sort of works. Classes are unlocked as you proceed to race in drag races, earning more XP towards the the next class of races, unlocking new parts for cheaper prices as well as unlocking the next race tier. So I think this will work like the tier system in the Arena Wars. Where you can sort of build up tiers and you unlock certain things as you go up the tiers. So the more you play the higher you'll rank and then you unlock certain vehicles. And yeah so prizes uh, are dependent upon the classes and the amount of money you you place in bets, I guess, I think that's supposed to say. The more money you yeah, you place for bets, special drag races earn the most going down the list from small wheel earning the least. So I think small wheel is like supposed to be the first class. And then, um, where did it say the classes? 
and then I think so yeah you can see small wheel here is the the smallest or the the first class and then like funny car and special class is the last one that you'll sort of get into that's like the highest tier and then betting system and pink so I think that's like pink slips there are two sections of betting prize system cash and pinks I think that's pink slips the cash system is a simpler system uh, with betting there is a limited there is a limit of a hundred grand cash limit uh, for betting all bets must be matched by the other competitors the second section of the betting system is pink slips where up on agreement of both parties uh, you put both cars on the line it does not have to be the vehicle you are racing so if you've got a car in your garage i guess you could bet that as one of your vehicles now this sounds like a really cool concept um, the the pink slip betting um, sort of like a fast and furious thing however I see a little bit of a problem with this where if you have a really cool car and your friend wants it you could let your friend win so that you lose and the car will go to them so I could see that system being abused a little bit I don't know how Rockstar would sort of have an anti-cheat thing in there um so I don't know if the pink slip thing would would work in GTA. It's really cool and I'd like to see it. But I don't think that would work just because I think people would abuse it. But the the hundred grand betting thing, we already have the ability to bet on races in GTA, so I could definitely see that being added. Um and then it sort of explains about the categories of vehicles. So there are three different categories of vehicles added with the Slick City DLC. We've got normal. So that's everyday cars not built for drag racing. So this will be like supercars and uh, sort of like everyday muscle cars that you can just get off the street and modify. So the ones that we all have now. And we've got drag edition cars. These are... Cars taken and completely built with new upgrade options and top speed acceleration available from the drag workshop. So this is sort of like Benny's with the low riders, I guess. Uh, but it's this time we're building drag cars instead of low riders. So it says new upgrade options. So like Benny's, we got upgrades, uh, interior upgrades. And uh, we've got loads of unique customization, so I guess it will be similar to that, like adding parachutes and NOS and that kind of thing. And then we've got special vehicles. These consist of vehicles built with the intent to be used only on the drag strip. However, they can be used in free mode, because obviously people would want to use them in free mode. Um, so everyday cars, the everyday cars consist of cars from all categories ranging from muscle to import. Certain vehicles from every from the everyday category can be upgraded to the drag edition. And these, all these cars here are cars that I guess um, they want to be added into GTA. So I will... You can pause the video here and have a look for yourself if you want, uh, but I'll leave a link. So if you want to check out this for yourself, I'm not going to read out all these, but I can definitely see there's some really cool cars in there that I would definitely want to see. Um, so the Drag Edition. So this is where we're going to explain what the Drag Edition is. The Drag Edition of Vehicle unlocks new upgrades uh, that will be covered after that will be covered after the vehicles. I don't know what that means. These upgrades help to boost the speed, acceleration and traction. Downside of these vehicles is they, I think they will suffer uh, more damage and the possibility to flip due to the tyres leaving the asphalt. So um, I think these are supposed to be like street cars that have been upgraded to drag cars. So they're not purpose built drag cars, but they're better than the street version. Uh, but it, it's saying here that they um, they have the tendency to be crashed and flip as well, which actually sounds it's a it's a bad thing to flip your car, but it sounds really cool. Like I don't know how that physics would work in GTA because um, we don't really have that. 
but that sounds really cool. And then these here are all the cars that you could have in the drag edition. Again, if you want to uh, have a read of that for yourself, you can pause the video. And then we've got here special vehicles. So this is going to explain what the special vehicles are. So we've got Camaro funny car, Chevelle funny car, Corvette Nitro funny car, uh, 1970s slingshot dragster, which I think is this one here, this picture. The sleek dragster, the phantom dragster, which will be like a jet powered truck dragster, I'm guessing. And restorables, which we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, so I don't know which one of these this is. I'm guessing this is the slingshot dragster Or it could be the sleek machine dragster, but this is a really cool We don't really have drag cars like this in GTA Excuse me in GTA. So this would be definitely a really cool car Then we've got upgrades With the drag slips slowly gaining popularity the demands for the high performance parts becoming higher in demand the drag strip made a contact, uh, made a contract, so all high performance parts have to be ordered through the strip. Due to having a drag strip workshop, you'll have access to all the upgrades, and most can be equipped to everyday vehicles unless stated otherwise. Um, and then it explains sort of here. We've got tier five upgrades. Uh, we've got Turbo Mark II. So um, we get a new turbo, uh, which is different from the LSC one. We got new tires. So I'm not going to read these. If you want to have a read for yourself, you can pause the video. But it's sort of new parts that we can have on the cars, which sounds really cool. And also the parachute here. Um, so I'm not going to read this because, I mean, a parachute is, is fairly self-explanatory. Um... I'm sure all of you guys watching this will know what a parachute is used for in drag racing. Um, but this is just sort of a picture of one of the cars with the slick tyres on the back, which looks really cool. One thing I have to say, though, is I really hope they add the regular variants of all these cars and then you have to upgrade them. So like the Arena War, things where we got the normal vehicles and then you upgrade them. Because I'd love to have like a street version just for cruising around in free mode. And then a purpose built drag one. Um, it would be nice to have both. Because I wouldn't want just the drag version. I'd like to have both. Um, but this looks really cool. Um, and then we've got the parachute. You can see here what the parachute's used for. Um, we've got NOS, which is sort, we sort of have NOS, uh, we got that with the Arena War, um, it wasn't really very good, um, but definitely, well it says here Mark II, so I'm guessing that's an upgrade uh, from the, the Arena War NOS, and this is just a picture of another really cool pickup here that we could get. Um, and then we get on to, this is my favourite part of the whole thing. Um, I've stated in previous videos that this is something that I would really like to see. Um, so this is restorable vehicles. So scattered across the map, there are multiple car carcasses, so like these, that hold their own stories within their deaths. But like everything else, they're waiting for their rebirth to get their revenge. So, I don't know which one this is, what car this is. This is the Phantom. Uh, this is the Vapid Urus, uh, Uranus, sorry, which we don't have in GTA, but it was in GTA 4. So, this is sort of like the um, RS, Ford RS Cosworth with the whale tail. Um, so, this is a car I really want to see in the game. And I don't know what this is, it's just unrecognisable. Um... When it says, oh, we've already got that. Um, the owner of the strip explains that these vehicles and original parts are somewhere in San Andreas. Uh, mostly parted out, he gives you a list of the vehicles and wishing you good luck that uh, you may one day bring them back to glory. So we've got here the Phantom Drag with wing, which is this one here. The Dodge Ram Julie which could be this one, I guess. 
Uh, we got the Drag Chevelle two door, which could be this maybe. The Mustang Fox body, which is I know I said this was the RS Cosworth. It's sort of a mix between the Mustang Fox body and the RS Cosworth. So that one there and the Gauntlet funny car, which we don't have a photo for. Um, oh, I guess this is what they could look like here. So this is a picture of what they could look like. So this is the Evapid Uranus. This is the uh, the Chevelle here. We got the Phantom Drag with wing. So it's like a drag drift, drag drift uh, truck. And then we've got here. This would this would be the Dodge Ram Dually, which <laughs> looks absolutely incredible. I have to say. And then obviously new DLC would get new clothing clothing. So embroidered leather jacket, new racing gloves, embroidered hoodies, uh logo muscle shirt, which we already have some of them, so more of them would be definitely welcome. And then emotes, we've got welding, pit stop, water break, and wrench toss. These would be really cool, especially for people making cinematics. If we had those emotes in GTA it would be absolutely awesome for making cinematics. If there's a garage scene, you can just, you know, do a bit of welding or you could chuck a wrench to someone. That would be really cool. And that's it. So it just says, this concludes the Slick City DLC concept and in help sharing this concept is greatly appreciated. So that is the DLC there. We've got um, the wreck things and... I have to just say, this DLC sounds absolutely incredible. It's really well created on this website. It explains thoroughly how the DLC would work. I can see every part of this DLC working in GTA Online. Definitely something that people would want to see. And Rockstar at the moment are adding more DLC concepts that, um, you know... People of certain certain niches want to see. So like the Bikers DLC was petitioned. The um, the Casino DLC, that was petitioned. We're going to be getting an F1 DLC in a couple of weeks. That is a very niche kind of thing. So I can definitely see Rockstar adding something like this to GTA. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. Just want to say... Um, yeah, please Rockstar, if you're watching this video, add Slick City to GTA Online. It's absolutely incredible. The creator of this DLC, big shout out to you. I'll link this page for you down in the description and also the petition. Please go and sign that if you think this is something you want to see in GTA Online. And you know, you never know, one day it could be in GTA Online. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed having a look at this concept DLC with me, Slick City. It sounds absolutely incredible. Let me know your thoughts in the description below. And until next time, thank you and goodbye.